Hey everybody, this is D Hunter bringing another action figure review. Today, we're going to look at the McFarlane Toys Mortal Kombat 11 Scorpion. This is a new paint variant. It's pretty much Scorpion in an all black suit. I stumbled across this guy at Target with Liu Kang today and was very pleased. Every Scorpion variant has been fantastic so far. So let's check out the packaging. As you can see at the top, age is 14 plus, McFarlane Toys, Mortal Kombat 11. Here he is, comes with two swords, two sheaths, his signature hook, and a display stand at the back. Scorpion. One side, here he is, Mortal Kombat 11, Black Suit Scorpion. Other side, simply says Mortal Kombat 11. At the bottom, there's a bunch of credits and a barcode in case that helps anybody. And on the back, here he is posed up holding his swords. So with no further ado, let's crack him open. All right, now that we got this figure out of the package, here he is with all of his accessories laid out. He does go with a display stand, two katanas, two sheaths for their swords, and then he's got his signature hook, and it's called the Kuni Spear. But before we look at the accessories, let's check out the actual figure. So this is Scorpion in his In the Shadows skin. It pretty much is an all black suit variant, and that's cool as a generic ninja or a scorpion. He's got the black hood, silver mask, got those pure white eyes. Detail looks pretty good. Going further down, his overlay is black, some sort of gray shirt underneath. Looks like double jointed elbows, double jointed knees, although I can't imagine that's going to go too far back. Overall, he looks like an absolutely fantastic ninja. Very nice job. Liking everything about this guy for numerous reasons. A great looking scorpion, and he's going to be great for my Batman figures, Rachel Ghoul's League of Shadows. Now let's check out his accessories, and let's start off with the boring stuff. So here's his display stand. It's a black perfect circle. Typical McFarlane stand. It says Mortal Kombat at the bottom. It has one peg for the peg holes on their feet. It's very thin, very basic. Now let's check out his katanas. One's a little longer, one a little shorter, and then he has two sheaths that will attach to his side. The swords themselves, they look pretty good. Nice little bit of detail in the blade here. The handle looks good as well. Here's his side before the sheaths are attached. And here he is with his sheaths attached. Here he is holding his one of his swords. He can hold it with either one hand or with two. And here he is, holding both of his swords. And here are his swords, holstered in his sheaths. And here are his katanas at the top, next to all the other swords that the different variations of Scorpion came with. Now let's look at his giant hook. It's called the Kuni Spear. So, in the base, it's like a giant chain. It's all wrapped around his hand. In the front, we've got a big old spear. Here he is, holding the spear pointing it right at you. And here are all the different versions of his spear that came with the different versions of Scorpion. And here's Scorpion using his spear to pull Liu Kang close to him. Now that we've taken a pretty good look at both the figure and his accessories, now let's check out his height. From bottom to the top of his head, sitting at about 7.1 inches tall, which you can translate to about 18 centimeters. Now let's check out his articulation. Start with his head here. It can rotate from side to side. You can look up and down, about that much, not too much there. Can't really tilt from side to side. Shoulders on a ball joint, it can go out about 90 degrees. Up, down, around, all that good stuff. He's got a bicep cut below that. Double jointed elbows below that. They go in this far. His wrist has a ball. It can rotate around and it's going to be hinged as well. He's got a ball joint in his waist. It can rotate around, go forward and back. Legs go out about this far. It's not a ball joint, but a similar type concept. Forward about that much, back that much. There is pretty much no rotation of the thigh, just a littlest bit. Double jointed knees below that. They go all the way back, better than I expected. And then his ankle here, it's got a ball, it goes up and down. It can rotate, can tilt and rock as well. And he has toe articulation. Now let's check him out, compared with some other action figures, starting off with some other McFarlane Mortal Kombat figures. 
Here he is with the original standard Scorpion figure. He's in his signature yellow outfit. And here he is with the other three Scorpion variants. We have the original Scorpion, the Scorpion that came with a two-pack with Raiden, and the GameStop exclusive Scorpion. My personal favorite is going to be this new black suit Scorpion. Then, here he is next to all three different Sub-Zero variants I have so far. And there is a purple one in this new assortment. Here he is, next to the most recent assortment of Mortal Kombat figures. These are some bloody versions and some paint variants. I got my set from Amazon.com, but I have seen them at various Target stores. And here he is, next to my entire McFarlane Mortal Kombat collection. I've got a total of 18 figures, and I'm not even fully caught up. There's the rest of this assortment, the paint variants, and some upcoming figures we know further out. Now let's check them out next to some other ninja action figures. Here he is, next to a couple of NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie foot soldiers. And here he is, next to a couple of Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon figures. She's named Jen Yu. That's where the Asian entryways in the background came from. Then, next to some DC Direct Dark Archer figures from Arrow. And here, next to a couple of DC Direct Mask of Tengu Batman figures from Nightfall. Then, next to a couple of SH figure arts, Ra's al Ghul, or League of Shadows members from Batman Begins. And here, next to some Hasbro Marvel Legends Ronin figures. And here, next to a couple of Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified Red Ninjas. Now let's check them out, compared with some action figures from different various companies, to see how he fits in both scale and style-wise, in case you want to know which lines you can mix them with. Here he is with some of his McFarlane Toys brothers. In front of you are five different action figure lines, all from McFarlane Toys, all 7 inch scale. And here he is with some DST or Diamond Select Toys. Then with some DC Direct and DC Collectibles figures. And here with some NECA figures. Then with some Mattel wrestling figures. And here he is with some Mezco 112th Cloth Soft Goods action figures. Then, next to some Mattel, DC Universe Classics, and Multiverse figures. And here, with some Mafex figures. Then, next to some Hasbro, Marvel Legends. And here he is, next to some SH Figure Arts action figures. And finally, here he is, next to some Jazz Wars Fortnite figures. So overall, this is a pretty nice figure. His articulation is pretty good. It could be a little better, both in the torso and the thigh area. His accessories are fine. I like his katanas and his hook. His sculpt is pretty nice. Different texture on different parts of his outfit. I will say, I think this black suit scorpion is my favorite of all four varieties. He'll work great for a scorpion in a black suit, a generic ninja, or possibly in my Batman world, a racial ghoul League of Shadows member. So overall, if I were to rate this guy, I'd give him a very solid 8 out of 10. I've seen a couple of people online saying they're an army build this guy, get like four of them for a team of elite ninjas, and I think that would look great. So this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say about the video, add it to the comment section. If you want to see additional action figure reviews from me, press subscribe. I do appreciate when you do that. Once again, this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I will talk to you guys real soon.